Walking 10,000 steps a day is not just good for your health, but an awesome way to discover secrets around your neighbourhood. So today, I'm putting my best foot forward to earn my 10k. Let's go! In every episode, I'll be exploring a different neighbourhood, but I won't be walking alone. And here are my companions for today. Ta-da! Alright guys, so our starting point is here today at the Singapore Botanic Gardens. Are you ready? Yeah. Yep. Okay, come. Reset your trackers. Let's go! Let's go! Hey, banana tree! <laughs> oh yeah. So when you want to make the banana grow bigger in a farm, they normally chop off the flower. All the energy of the tree can focus on making the banana grow bigger. So it's like castrating the... You castrating... Castrating the... You can say that. You can <laughs> say that. Honey papaya. This is my first time seeing a papaya tree. Oh, it's gangkong also. This one is like... Gangkong. Oh, this oh, is the white, white flower. I'm used to seeing it in a sambal form. Sambal form. Sambal form. Just one short walkway, right? We have so many different herbs and plants. Yeah. Oh, this is pretty cool, man. Yeah. Is that a real bunker? It's under a oh, tree. Hey, there's a lock, ah. Can we unlock it? Do yeah, you can we unlock it? Do you guys know the password? <laughs> Is there a password? Don't know, ah. Hello! Sounds very deep. I wonder what is this? Uh? PUB pipe. I think it's where the water pipe used to be. Maybe I was just digging shit. Uh. So, as in this used to be a toilet, a toilet, a toilet. Uh. Most likely it was a secure storage for secret documents. But we may never know for sure. Mm. You know what I'll keep inside? I'll keep my insecurities. <laughs> okay, sorry, it's getting a bit too personal. Oh, these steps are very romantic. Uh. You guys realize something different about the bricks. Little, little arrows pointing in different directions. Yeah. So there's no particular order. You see, this is up, this is down. Then the question now is what was the arrow used for? Ah, explanation. Prisoner of war brick steps. These steps and bricks were made by prisoners of war during the Japanese occupation of Singapore. As a sign of defiance, the POWs imprinted arrows on most of the bricks to indicate that they were detained. All this walking is starting to make me feel hungry. Same. This 10k <laughs> steps a day is really no joke. <laughs> oh guys, I think we should take a rest. Wait, this looks like a perfect place. Do you know what fish that is? Uh, if I'm not wrong, it's a uh, arapaima. Arapaima. Yeah. It's so huge. I think it's, it's bigger than us, you know, it's like yeah, 1.8 or something. Eh. 1. 1.8 is my size. Eh. Yeah. All these fishes they can be found in the South American Amazon and Basin. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, wait, wait, can eat one. <laughs> this restaurant is called CMVVs, yeah. Okay, you know CMVB, right? It used to be yeah. the place where all the 18 year old guys have to report to for NS. Uh -huh. So CMVB used to be here at MZ. Uh, okay. So this restaurant is basically like acknowledging the heritage location of MZ. And guess what CMVB stands for? Cannot guess, right? That's for contemporary <laughs> melting pot and bar. Guys, mm. I know that you all actually started Singapore's very, very first uh, insect farm. That's insecta, right. right? So yep. what actually inspired you guys to do this? For me, when I had the chance, the chance to start an insect farm, uh, uh -huh. I wanted to have a very uh, important insect that could take away the food waste and turn the food waste into fertilizer and insect protein. So mm. the core of it was really about sustainability and finding a way to use nature to fix a problem. Is this the place? Yep, so we're finally here. Welcome to Citizen Farm. Welcome to our insect farm, Tosh. This is where it all begins. Oh, the first thing that hits me is the smell. The smell comes from the waste. This is the food waste. So oh, the food okay, waste okay, okay, we okay. collect from, you know, homes, from hotels. The wooden planks here are uh -huh. where the flies lay the egg. 
Yep, that's right. That's it. Wow. There you go. You just have a set about a few thousand eggs. Thousand eggs. That, that's a few thousand eggs. Uh. Yeah, easily. Wow. Devin and Jiaqin has been very nice to offer to cook me a sumptuous fresh lunch. Hey Tao, so this is what we made for you. This is a pasta made from all the fresh ingredients that you've seen mm -hmm. on the farm. There's a special ingredient in there. It's our flies. It's our flies. Oh, it's <laughs> our <Yeah>. <laughs> It's a larvae supposed to taste a certain way. Okay, if you didn't tell me there was any uh, larvae inside here, I, I wouldn't even know. <laughs> After digging in, right, it actually tastes really, really good. <laughs> Alright guys, we have come to the end of today's episode and not only did we walk a lot today, we saw a lot, we learnt a lot, and I ate a lot. So how many steps do you take today? I did about 11,000 steps today. 11,000 ah? Uh. You me about 10,800. Uh, I don't know why I only got like 10,010. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and stay tuned for the next time. 10K.